Twitter said, even if I gouge my eyes out with a spoon, men still will not be women. Um, and if you'd like to donate to Philip and Andy's uh, legal fund, because the lawyer has been engaged to give her back her right to buy food uh, at the local supermarket, and also an apology for having been thrown out unceremoniously, for having thoughts and saying words, uh, then please visit manawahinikore.org, um, uh, buymeacoffee.com, and support Philippa Landy and her efforts to protect free speech in New Zealand. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk today, talk to you today was about mental health. Because this issue is about mental health. We're being told that our children should be affirmed as the opposite sex to what they are because it's good for their mental health. Now New Zealand has the worst suicide, youth suicide rate in the OECD and I think this is an absolutely disgusting way to get a, a, an improvement in these suicide rates, these suicide rates to tell children that the best way for them to feel better is to sterilise themselves, to tell their parents that they're going to kill themselves if they don't do this for themselves, and then to later, once you go on those puberty blockers and then you go on the prostate hormones, it's a pathway straight to genital mutilation, which, as far as I was aware, we, we, we were against. Female genital mutilation has been a, a, a discussion since I was a teenager, um, and now we're, we're promoting that we do this to our children, uh, and I think that's disgusting. Um, and I'll stand up against it with anybody, anywhere, anytime. Um, it is not okay to prevent children from ever going through puberty or becoming adults. And that's what I've got to say about that for now.